quite an eerie and humming filled the air. Next thing that the children knew, the father wasn't there. So they quickly grabbed the crystal and took off with it fast. With Phil and Nancy chasing them, and boy, that pair was nasty. Let's go. They try at any moment, using any way they can To stop you getting on with it and doing what you plan to Let's go Fatty and George, we're easy to help you You gotta pull through, come on Fatty and George The three of you can win At least you got two helpers and Kath and Granddad Bert But they don't really understand that you three could get hurt Cause Phil and Nancy mean it They really want you bad And now you've got the crystal safe That makes them good and mad And vicious Let's go Patty and George With easy to help you You gotta pull through Come on Patty and George The three of you can win Let's go with the stuff that we've bought. Looks like we're on our own from now. Well, we'd better start scrounging around. What'd you say about Sasha's dad's junkyard, Izzy? Come on, Izzy, forget about it. It was only a dumb game. The umpire was a norm. It's all right for you to say, George, but you didn't get a face full of mud. Come on, forget about it. We've got a lot to do. Think of the crystal. Slash is not worth the agony. Yeah, that's right. The crystal. No, Izzy, we can't. We can't use the crystal for anything like that. We've got to use it to get Dad back. No, George, we can't. We really can't. We've done it the last six days. Five of five thousand metres. The result at the moment is so close that the result of this race will decide who wins this inter house competition. Here, boys, up there. I'll see you in a minute. Would contestants get ready for the race, please? All set. I still think you're both wrong. Shh. Hope you've been training hard, small fry. But in case you haven't, I'll have a cool drink waiting for you at the end. Ha ha ha. I see you've been having your corners for breakfast. I'm not laughing, Lockley. And you know why? Because you're a girl. And girls are pathetic. Oh, you wait till we... Shut up, George. Get down, get down. Well, he's just a bit free. Oh,
just let me get my breath back. Why don't you go and take a shower? Not a bad idea, actually. How do you feel? Great. I feel fine. Well, are you ready? Yep. Go! <laughs> face as he walked away. Did you see the look on the crowd when you passed him? Of course I didn't. I was running, wasn't I? Oh, yeah. Well, Lizzie, how do you feel now? Can we get on with living? Is honour satisfied? Was it really all worth it? Sure was. Hey, look, it's him. Don't worry, Slash, you just must be getting old. Old, ancient more like. Shut up. special occasion. He is to our champion, even though he doesn't want to tell anyone about it. Well, Ian won the long distance race at the sports. Apparently an amazing record time. I heard it on the radio. Well, he is to our modest champ. Hmm. Well, from the way you lot look, anyone would think you're ashamed of having a brilliant athlete for a friend. Oh, it was nothing really. Just sort of a fluke. No flukes in athletics, boy, I, I know. I was a bit of a runner myself before I went to sea. Took up swimming then, of course, uh, more convenient. Well, here's to a great career. Oh, well, thanks for the drink, but I've got to go. See you all later. <coughs> Modest boy, too. Did you see the way he was... He was embarrassed by our congratulations. Great quality modesty. Nothing worse than a great athlete with a swelled head. Yes. I like the way that boy's developing. Give him another year or two and he'll be the ideal man. Strong, upright, honest. Capable of cheating. Yes, it's a wonderful thing, sport, for the character. All right. Now, the moment you've all been waiting for the trial science exam. Now, the time limit is. 30 minutes, and the idea is to tick the right answers. Now, everything is to be answered to the best of your ability, and naturally enough, no cheating.
are you doing? I'm looking at Slash's paper. Why? You bet on it. All wrong. You would expect he's a dumber. Well, I'm going to improve his results a bit. To make up for the way we made him feel after the race. It's not the same old slasher after you beat him. Yeah, well, it just wasn't good enough, was he? That's it, see? Power corrupts. It gets into your head. You're starting to think that you're really great. And we're not going to use the crystal for anything like that. You do remember that the crystal won the race. Not you. Don't you? Well? Yeah, yeah, I remember. Give us your rubber, then. Do you reckon it'll work on old Slash? Should do. Give him back his self-respect anyway. Well, here you are. Your paper's all marked. And I must say, we've got a surprise or two. Gary, would you come out here, please? Oh, I don't quite know how to say this, Gary, but you amaze me. I've never seen such a complete transformation in a boy. First of all, you give up sport entirely, and then almost overnight, you become the best science student in the class. Better even than Lockley. Anyway, you should have seen the look on old Slash's face when old rabbit told him he'd come top. Bet he was pleased. No, why? He was mad as hell. Snatched the paper out of old rabbit's hands, looked at it, reckoned it wasn't his, ripped it up, then shot through. Did he really? Yeah. Didn't even go home. Nobody knows where he is now. They've even got the cops looking for him. Wouldn't be the first time. Oh, it's not funny, George. It's all going wrong. His mates don't understand what's happening to him. They don't want to know anymore. We've ruined his life. Come on, Fatty. It's not as bad as all that. Look, we've got to get on with the time machine. We have to think about Dad. Oh, you wouldn't understand, George. Take me in the team now? Well, we slash her out, they're gonna need someone. Maggot's gonna take a lot of convincing to put you in. Let's go and convince him then. Yeah, four in a row. How many more do you want? That's enough. Reckon you can pick me for the team now? Well, you're not much of a mark, but your kicking's pretty good. I suppose I could put you full back. You've got a lot of weight to chuck around. I'm only doing this because we're short, because Slash is sick. And another thing, luckily, if there's any sort of tricks, you and him will both get minced, right? No tricks, Maggot, honest. Yeah, Maggot, fair dink. See you Saturday morning then. Yeah. Now look, what you've got to make sure of is that the full four doesn't get too far away from you. And you've got to stick really close. Otherwise, you're going to get a whole bag full of gold. Listen, and then Izzy, have... I appreciate this. I really do. But I'm not actually interested in doing quite that well. I'm interested in other things, like Slasher. I wish you'd get interested in the time machine for change. You seem to have forgotten about it and Dad. And we haven't even started to think about the rest of the stuff we have to find. Look, George, Slasher's whole life has changed. And it's all my fault. 
and I'm the one who's got to put it right. I'm not taking up football for pleasure, mate. I hate it. Oh, Freddy, I thought you were starting to get a bit of sense. It's all part of a plan, and you're in it too, George, so you both better listen. <laughs> Where'd you get to? I mean, nobody's any idea what happened. Don't know myself. Don't remember much. I just felt a bit queer. Sort of different. It's a funny thing, but I don't even mind sitting here talking to you. And I don't know what I'm doing here at the game. I don't even like footy anymore. Don't worry, Slashy. You'll be your old self again soon. Yeah, what's that tub of lard doing in my team? As if I should care. Anyway, it's Maggot's team now. Yeah, and I think Maggot's making a real mess of it. If they wouldn't even know one end of the football from the other. You watch what you're saying, Maggot's my mate. You know, George, I've been thinking of taking up tennis. It kind of appeals to me. Gentle. George. Useless! You should tell him, George, that he needs to practice those marks. Don't turn round. But can you hear something? No, just cars. Car. One special car only, and it's black. What do we do now? Well, we've got to keep them away from the boat shed. If they see us going in, we're sunk. Just keep on walking normally. And when we get to the next corner, we'll turn left and duck into Jackson's Lane. If they follow us, they'll have to do it on foot. And then we'll double back. If we get separated, we'll all meet back at the boat shed. And make sure you're not seen. Right? Come on. drive so close to I'm gonna find out where they work and that's where they'll be keeping the crystal. It's all very well, but let's have a little bit of subtlety, shall we? Let's go back to the car.
been took ages. Do you feel Nancy, sir? Saw me all right, and they didn't follow. How yeah, do you know? Because they took their distributor cap. Beauty, George. Hey, give us a look at that. Hey, yes, what do you reckon? Made for it. I knew it all the time. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Well, at least we're on our way. Smart. Let's go, Patty and John.